Welcome back. I went to Trader Joe's this morning and I did a restock haul of a lot of our favorites and some new things. So I wanted to start off the vlog with a Trader Joe's haul. I love the holiday bags that they have out right now. But I laid everything out on the counter, so I'm gonna just go through everything. Center cut filet, got two of those. They've been out of the um, hash browns, so I wanted to try these potato pancakes. I don't know. I just saw them, wanted to try them. Um, I'm not sure how to say this. I think it's beef briria. Thought this would be good for tacos one night. I'm also sick, if you can hear that I'm congested throughout this clip. Um, kind of trying to knock it out quickly. It came on last night. Orange chicken, fried rice. This is also really good, this kung pao chicken. Gorgonzola gnocchi. Got some soup dumplings. We tried these the other week for the first time from Trader Joe's and they're so good with the gyoza sauce that Trader Joe's carries. Really easy, quick dinner, super yummy. Elote corn chip dippers. Just some plain tortilla chips these jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs some pita crackers some avocado oil spray got some dried mango for snacking and then some dry roasted and unsalted cashews for snacking it's kind of hard to find nuts from trader joe's that don't have added oils and things in it so picked up this version sourdough this looked really good i kind of want to make a homemade one this weekend so i'm going to get ingredients for that but this step up to the snack bar mix looked really good but i do want to make a homemade one this weekend i saw a recipe on tiktok and it looks so good so picked this up guaca salsa tomatillo salsa in guacamole this three layer hummus dip looks so good i went hungry so this looked delish got a bunch of these immunity shots to help with the sickness this cold pressed juice eggs i got some yummy desserts like this salted caramel hot cocoa stirring spoon i wanted to get like a whole thing of it from william sonoma the salted caramel hot cocoa it sounds really good but i saw this at trader joe's so i picked these up with some whipped cream and then regular milk i do have cashew milk but christian's allergic to cashews so got this and then i heard that these were really good chocolate chip cookies so i wanted to try them i've been seeing them everywhere and people say that the cookie dough just not even cooked is really really good too so i wanted to give these a try and that is the Trader Joe's haul. I'm going to put everything away. I just wiped down the fridge and we have literally nothing in our fridge at all. We have gone through completely everything. It's so empty. And after I put everything away, we're going to get some breakfast. got home from breakfast i think my hair looks a little frizzy because i had my hood up because it's raining there's supposed to be like some sort of tropical depression of some sort this weekend and the weather is like not good today or through the night and into tomorrow so i had on this hoodie just in case i got caught in the rain when i went to trader joe's or breakfast but i got this hoodie and sweat set from daily drills and i actually won this in their giveaway which is crazy it's so funny how sometimes just things work out i didn't shop this drop this is their it was like their first the first day of december drop sorry i'm like so out of breath because i'm like sick on the first day of december they did their own thing called drill miss since the brand is called daily drills they did their own spinoff on like 12 days of christmas they called it 12 days of drill miss and on the first day they dropped like a pink drop i think it was pink miss something like that and this was one of the items they had like other ranges of pink sweat sets and things it was right after 
Black Friday weekend. So it was like the following weekend and I was looking at the drop and I was like, oh, I really want a sweat set, but I couldn't justify purchasing it. I was like, no, you don't need it. Like you don't need it, it's fine. Just don't get it. And during December, it was like a couple days later, they were doing like little things each day for the 12 days of Christmas. And one day I just happened to go to lunch really late and they were going live and you could request to join their live. And they only selected, I think like five or six people who were on the live to pick something off the rack. And there was like five or six like sets to choose from and they invited me on to their live so i asked to join the live and then they like pick who to select to like actually join in so they picked me second and i picked this like tannish sweat set and what's cool about it is it has the limited edition daily drills pink logo which they usually do like a green logo on it so they did a pink one for this one. And I don't know if they're gonna ever bring it back, but I really wanted to get this. So I'm really excited. And it's my first sweat set from them, but I was so excited. And it's just like funny how things worked out because it's like, I really wanted it. And I was like, no, you don't need it. And then what are the odds? But I was really excited and felt really lucky that I got to get this because it's really nice quality. And I'm not usually like a hoodie person, but the hoodie is like not too heavy, not too lightweight. And it's like, it's not like stiff. I don't like when hoodies are like stiff and hard, like you can't move in them. This is really comfy. So I just feel really lucky that I got selected to get this sweat set for free. Enter in the giveaways, I promise. I've won like multiple Instagram giveaways. And I know you might think like, oh, like what are the odds? Like I'll get selected. like. Trust me, people win. I've won before multiple giveaways on Instagram, so just enter in them. It's fun, and if you win, then you win something. So, yeah, enter in those giveaways. I don't wanna like keep talking because I'm like so out of breath and I sound congested, so it's probably super annoying, but um, I woke up at like 5.50 this morning, and I was like, I do not feel well, I need to knock this out. So I had like a vitamin C packet, <laughs> I picked up Dayquil, I got a medicine ball tea. I drank more tea when I came home. With had my greens powder, had a immunity shot. Just trying to really kick this like beginning set of a cold out so I don't continue getting worse. But it's really rainy here, so I'm through on comfies, but nothing new. I'm always wearing something comfy. And I also wanted to open day, what is the day? It's the 16th, day 16 of the advent calendar. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to try this. I've always wanted to try this, but I can't justify spending this much money on it. It's the Elemis um, cleansing balm, the collagen cleansing balm. I have always wanted to try it, but it's pretty expensive for a cleansing balm, and I have one that's like $10, $15. So I never justify spending the money to try it, but I'm so excited to try this out. I've heard really good things, so I'm so excited about this. This is what it looks like. I love cleansing balms. I'm using a cleansing oil right now from DHC, I think it's what it's called, that I love, but I'm excited to try this. So that's day 16. Yeah, this place is deserted. I mean, obviously you have the Christmas tree, which is off at the end. Usually not. Okay, Christian and I just got home from dinner. I'm gonna make some tea. We braved the storm. We ran through the rain to get some food. I'm gonna make some tea before I shower. And have all of our medicine. Here, I'm gonna take some of this too. First, I'm boiling some water. I'm gonna do lemon ginger tea and then lemon balm tea just to help with relaxing and sleep. So I wanted something with double the benefits. And then I'm also gonna take a spoonful of this Manuka honey because it helps with inflammation and it's antibacterial and microbial and things like that. So it just helps when you're sick, it's really good. I'm not gonna mix this in my tea because it does decrease the um, specific en enzyme in the honey that helps with those things. 
So just gonna take a spoonful, get in the shower, let my tea cool down because I put it in this double insulated cup which keeps the tea warm and hot for a long period of time. So by the time I get out of the shower, it should be cool enough to drink. But I'm gonna take some of this. And I already had this today, but I'm really trying to feel better. Also burned my finger really bad. This morning when I was trying to make tea, I was pouring this over this cup and I had a spoon right here and I was trying to hold onto the spoon and the steam, it was a dumb decision. <laughs> so I really, it hurts really bad. But I'm gonna take a spoonful of this. This is basically what it looks like. I am so sick today. I can barely like, I'm like constantly sneezing. Um, I'm so congested. I thought I would hopefully sleep this off, but I have to go to the grocery store. I have a Sephora pickup. I'm gonna go to Sprouts and get some more tea just because it has a lot more of the teas that I like than Publix does. So I'm gonna go to Sprouts really quick, get some teas, go to Sephora, pick up my um, order I got more moisturizer and a dry shampoo. I've been really wanting to try like a natural dry shampoo I've been using Batiste for years and it's so affordable that that's the main reason why I keep going back to it I'm just like why would I go and spend like $30 on a dry shampoo when Batiste is literally like 8 to $13 and it works really well i'm just wanting to switch to something that's natural and it's taken a long time for me to like bite the bullet and spend a little bit of extra money on this um because i literally really can't justify it but i want to see if the natural dry shampoo is any better than batiste and how it like sits in my hair i feel like it could be better too because if it's natural, maybe it will help with not so like much buildup of like product in your hair. Like I heard that dry shampoo is so bad for your hair and I use it literally every single day. So if I can switch to like a clean version of dry shampoo, I am gonna give it a try and unfortunately have to spend a little bit more money on it. So I just wanna give it a try and I'll share if it works out or like my opinions on it after I like go through the container or use the container. I'm thinking that, yeah, there's just like so much research done on like dry shampoo and how like Batiste is like really bad and I'm like sitting here using it every single day. And I know that dry shampoo like isn't good. So that's why I'm giving a new one a try. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna pick it up from Sephora and then a moisturizer that I'm excited to try too. I had to go take a photo for Princess Polly today, which I regret pushing it off because I really don't feel well. So hopefully like one of those photos turns out pretty well. I haven't honestly looked through a majority of them. But um, Christian so kindly took my photo today. So that way I can submit it along with the video. I really need to sit down and edit a video. So that way I can edit the Princess Polly haul video. Because it's due this week and I need to get, like to have my videos in order. So I need to edit the first one and then post it. Hopefully by tomorrow. So I need to really sit down and edit. Okay, I just got home from running my errands. And I'm going to restock my tea organizer. 
here are the teas that I got from Sprouts and they were doing like a dollar off a tea box. I got lemon balm, two of these. These are my favorite for right before bed. I got this everyday detox with dandelion. I also really like just the dandelion tea. Looks like this, it has an acquired taste but I actually really like it. And I feel like it gives me energy. I don't love this tea organizer. I feel like the teas don't fit in here easily. Got lemon ginger. This is like my favorite tea. Lastly, I got this stress ease tea. I haven't tried this one before, but I wanted to try it. See if it helps. Here's what I got from Sephora. It's only 3.95 ounces. So small for the price. So I'll keep you guys updated on if I like this dry shampoo. So we'll see, that's just really small for the price. And then I really wanted to try the Kiehl's Ultra Face Cream. We'll see if I like this. I love the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I really like it, but I wanted to try this one and see which one I like better, so. I've just been editing for the past uh, two hours. Finished editing my video. I'm just gonna watch it through before I export it and upload it and then get to editing the next video that I have and try and get that edited and submitted by Wednesday because I'm working with Princess Polly in that video. <coughs> I'm probably gonna be cutting out like every time I cough. I feel like I sound really congested and I don't like the way that I sound right now. It's really annoying probably. Before I get in the shower, I'm going to do my, what is it, high frequency device? One of you commented on my video where I first shared this. I've actually had this for a couple of years. I've just kept it underneath my sink and I haven't used it. And then a video on TikTok reminded me of it that it helps with hair growth and I'm trying to thicken out this part of my hair. So um, one of you commented who is a esthetician and said that I believe that you use this product on your clients and that you recommend it. So that made me feel a lot better that at least it's like recommended and someone else uses it. But I'm just gonna use it on my hair. I actually have a zit right here and I used it, this attachment, the little one, on it last night to help with that. But I'm just gonna do this before I get in the shower. I'm not washing my hair, but I just wanna do this before I get in there.